Hello, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to show you how to UV map and texture in Blender. It's not all that hard, but it's a little difficult. Not that hard, though. So, before I get started, please comment my stuff, rate my stuff, subscribe to me if you like my stuff, add me as a friend if you can, and uh, if you have any questions, just comment me or write me a message. And that's pretty much it. So, let's get started. I'm going to delete the queue. Add mesh plane, and we have our floor. I'm gonna make a wall and a floor, and put a monkey there. Make it look good. Okay. Now press Shift D, duplicate it, right click it to go back. Press R to rotate. This is X on the X axis. 90. Put in 90, and then press G, grab Y axis 1. G Z, and that's perfect. Okay. So. I'm going to grab a camera, fix it real quick, Alt R to clear the rotation, Alt G to clear the location, and then R X 90. Okay, now we want to put this back a little bit, just a little bit up, and that doesn't look so well. I'm going to put this up uh, there, and I'm going to press this and then shift right click that, S Y, oops, sorry, S X. And scale it out a little bit. Perfect. So that's great. Now, next thing, I'm gonna fix the lighting really quick since it's not that hard. All you have to do is take the lamp, and put it in the. I'm just gonna press Alt G. Lift it up a little bit so it's in the middle. And that's that's great right there. So next thing, I'm gonna UV map these to have textures that I downloaded. We're gonna do a wall first. Tab in the edit mode, put this area first, and press U unwrap. And this unwraps the surface so that you can place pictures and textures and stuff. So go to UV image editor, image, open, and just find texture. I'm going to use a stone wall. Back up. That's good. Now go into texture mode. Give it a second. And there we go. We got a stone wall. Looks nice. And that's all there is to that for now. Go here, we're gonna do our floor. Tab to go into edit mode, you unwrap, but we don't want the same picture. So this image open. And I have some uh dirt wall uh Floor. Stretch this out a little bit. Box like it. P. Okay. You can fit it by just selecting certain vertices and dragging it over. But that's great for me. And that's good. So if we press F12 right now, then nothing is gonna happen. Yeah, I'm just gonna fix the settings real quick. Sorry. Oh, my computer slows down when I do these tutorials now. You can't see the textures that I put here because you have to fix some settings. And this is what took me a while to learn. Now, you can join these areas here. I'm going to press the wall and press add new. And then you just press text face. And then the texture face that was applied in the UV face select mode or whatever will appear on the render so just press that and I'm going to make it less specular which means it's not shiny so you just go here in the shaders I'm going to turn the heart all the way up so it'll appear like it's like stone I'm going to do the same exact thing here text face texture down hard up. and for this we're going to have to keep the shadow and the ray tracing on so we can see shadows, but for now, just to show you really quick, I'm going to turn it off. And that looks good, right? Okay, so, X. Now I'm going to add a monkey, since this is UV mapping and texture. Monkey, scale it down with S, bring it up a little bit, and press R, X90, RZ45, 
Oops. Sorry. Bars in minus 45. Rotate it like that a little bit. And just rotate it where it can just slide gently on the floor. So it'll get that effect. And that looks pretty good. New camera. Perfect. Okay. Put it across the wax a little bit. Now, go here, press set smooth. Add modifier subsurf. That's okay. That's great. Now we're going to give it a little stone texture. Add new. And make this color a little darker. Than it is like there okay then go to texture and then go here to the textures and the texture type right now is none so just turn that to noise it's great and it's pink and dark gray so just go to map 2 and change this pink color to black Sorry. and then it's got that effect and then do the same thing you did for the walls and the floor conspectual down and the hard up and then here, so we can see a uh, shadow, so it'll look a little more realistic. It's shadow and ray tracing on. And it's going to take a little bit, so I'm going to uh, stop, pause it for a second, sorry. And uh, once I click out again, it'll be done. There we go. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. You know, it doesn't, you can do different stuff. You can turn the colors a little lighter. But you know, that's just basic stuff here. You can learn some more if you buy books and stuff but you know and that's pretty much it that's all there is to it thanks for watching these tutorials and comment if you like the my tutorials and rate and subscribe to me if you like the tutorials and I'm, I'm gonna keep making more tutorials about different things and that's all there is to this one thanks for watching